Okay, today we're going to plant some corn. We're using a horse-drawn 999L corn planter. And the method we're going to use is uh, it's called check row planting. Is we're going to check our corn, which means that we have our planter set at 36 inch rows and we'll be using a check wire, which is this here, we'll explain a little bit later. And every 36 inches, it'll drop anywhere from two to four kernels, depending on how we set it. So we'll have hills of corn every 36 inches. And it'll, when we're done with this planting, this entire field will be on a 36 inch grid. And it's an old method of the way they used to plant corn before they had sprays and stuff for weeds. We'll have, you'll be able to cultivate the corn the way you rows the way we planted it. You'll be able to turn 90 degrees and, and cultivate your corn crossways because your rows will be, everything is on 36 inch. And that'll help, you only, you'll just have a little column of weeds left around the four, four plants. Okay, and so the way we achieve this is they've got a wire. We're gonna roll the wire out first. That's the first thing you do. We're not gonna plant any corn. And every, every 36 inches, there's a knot on this wire. And the wire runs on the planter. And it'll trip the, plant, the seed boxes with four kernels every 36 inches. And we'll, we'll show you how that's going to work, how that works. But first you have to anchor it. You've got to have an anchor for your wire. And we laid out a straight line. You want one line on your edge of your field to be straight. So everything, as you advance across the field, everything is in line. So they got some stakes and you press them into the ground to anchor your, your wire. And then we'll take off and unroll the wire to the other end of the field. I'm not sure, sure, but I think most of these spools had about a quarter mile of wire on them. And when we get to the other end of the field, the roll will unhook from the planter. We'll leave it on that end of the field with another anchor and come back and then we'll hook onto the wire onto the planter and start the process of planting some corn. Today we're going to use the John Deere tractor to pull the planter. The planter originally was made for uh, horses. You can see the seat. And a quick pressure to illustrate the concept. But we can get the rows much straighter with the tractor. And when the wire is running alongside, the wire runs right alongside of the horses when they're walking. And it's jumping up and down and moving all around. And if the horses aren't used to it, they could get a little excited. They think it's a great big snake coming after them. So we are going to use the tractor today. Okay, we're at the end of the field now. So we're going to remove the roll of wire. Take it off. The remaining balance will set it. out of the way, You'll have, we'll have to move the wire the reel with the stake. Each time we, we move the stake, we'll have to move the wire. Now here's the other anchor stake. We'll grab one. About right here, there's a little hook on this stake to grab that, that wire. Pull it, pull it tight. I'll go back one more. And then you pull it, push it, push it into the ground. Get a good anchor. And that's it. Well, I go back to the other end. Start planting. Okay, we're back down at the end of the field, getting ready to start. There's, we'll hook up the wire first, 
your little trip mechanism here. And you grab your check wire and you bring it up here. And there's a little uh, deal here that this is what catches the uh, catches the knots as you go. You get it up on top of these rollers and then you bring it up and it latches in here and runs through these roller guides, the wire. And every time it gets to a knot, it'll trip this lever right there and it'll drop four kernels of corn and make a hill. So that's your, how, it, how it works. As you go along, it'll go click, click, it'll be tripping. Next thing you need to do is set your roll markers. So you can, so you got a way to follow on the way back. We'll make a groove in there and I'll put the center of the tractor tire right on that groove as we come back. And we should have nice straight rows. The other thing we got to do is, is lower the shoes down into the ground. And now it'll be engaged in gear and start to plant. All right, we made it to the end of the field. Now, there's a little release right there. We'll step on that with the foot. That'll release the wire. The wire will fall off, usually falls off on its own. We'll turn around and reset to go back. And then we have to move just the wire stake over. We'll show you how that is as soon as I get turned around. That's when you, on the, every time you get to the end, you gotta move the, your wire over. When we get down to the other end, we'll have to do the same identical thing. We'll move it over. You pull up the stake, pull the wire taut, pull it over, and line up with the center of your tractor or the seat on your on your planter, and re-push it into the ground. Okay, and you pick up your wire, put it in the little, the little tripping mechanism there, lower your planter down into the planting position, and you're good to go. Okay, we're back down to the end of the field again, where we started at, so now we have to move our wire over again. We got the field all planted, we're all done. Now the next thing to do is to roll the wire back up. What you do is take and start your roll, get it, roll the excess up to the back of the machine. You gotta drive over the top of the wire all the way back. Back, put it underneath. Set it up in there. Like that. Okay, and then we got a little clutch assembly here. Friction, we'll tighten that up a little bit. And then we have a dog here on this gear that we flip up to engage it. Now we should be able to uh, just drive along and it'll, oh wait, we got a, there should be a, little cone affair right here with the wire in.
little bit underneath the tractor. We need to wind up it. Do that by hand, by turning it by hand. And we're glad we don't have to do the whole field like this. Okay, there it is. We're all done, ready to head to the next field. And we got this field in Minnesota 13 all planted. Video later on when it comes up, show you what it looks like and how to cultivate it.